Hey, what's going on guys? It is Folks here and welcome to episode 9 of Manual Focus. And today guys, we are bringing you a bit of a, a weird episode, a very boring one, so don't blame me if you click off this video. Oops, I won't be showing you too much of this. It's a quite a lot of progress on the server, well, we'll be coming next episode. Just, um, it, 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 it's something to do with Iron next episode, you know, don't forget to tune in. But guys, we are uh, finishing off these little zombie killing machines that we made last episode. Uh, but to pay up for this episode being awful, I mean, it's not awful, but it's just not as you know, entertaining as I like to be. I will be making the next episode very, very entertaining. So please, yeah, still tune off. Uh, I'm trying my best here. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoy this video. And we are going to clip over to me, you know, constructing uh, part of our little, um, little, what's it called? Um, little zombie killer thing. So yeah. Oh no guys, I've not placed in the blocks. Oh, I think we've saved him, I think we've saved him. I completely forgot about that. We need to be careful not to kill him here. Um, probably should have... Where is he? Oh, he's in the block. Oh, we really need to be careful here. I think I'm going to have to take these villagers out while we do all of this testing. Yep. Yeah, this is not good. Okay. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Right, I think what I'm gonna do is actually get up the killing chamber first. So if I could try and trap this guy in there, there we go. Let's put a torch of him, make him a little like little thing. We're not gonna be mean to him. Okay, let's be careful of that area. And the reason this isn't working, I've just realised I actually did build this wrong. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like that. Yep, it is. Okay, let's get the killing chamber done. So, when it comes down here, it should be... Uh, so, the zombie villager should be at this height, so there, and there should be a trapdoor there. Not the zombie villager, I mean the zombie. We're going to give the zombie a really good sword, I think, so we can, you know, we can instantly kill them. And we're on hard mode, so we don't have to worry about any of, you know, guys, the um, the situations when you sometimes don't get zombie villagers. I think on easy, you don't get them at all, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the zombie sh is going to be. We're going to have to go and try and get a trapdoor. There we go. I already had some on me anyway, but there we go. We've got some trapdoors in place. Now, getting this guy back in here... It's going to be a task, but it's going to have to be one that we try and do. Um, I think what... I mean, can I do this? Nah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, okay, I think it's best just to... Maybe an item. Um, let's go down here. I mean, the item isn't the best of examples, but you know, it kind of works. So that item was indeed over... Nope. Okay, we're not getting any luck with this. Never mind, let's forget that. We need to try and get the villager in here. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to do that because these guys are not the easiest things to remove. So, wish me luck. What a legend. He's literally just walked straight into it. Wow, he really wants that work is, uh, that workstation back. Can we... Nah, he's still pretty expensive. Um, this guy's been breaking, guys, so I don't want to lose him. Um, okay, let's make sure all of these blocks are actually filled in. Okay, close that up. Please don't. Please just work. Oh, I think we've done it. And one, so the zombie can get him here. One last try for good luck. Yes, it works on the server. Okay, I'm very happy with this piston extender. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. It's just the block things that you have to be careful for. But now we need to go over here and find the other guy. I found him, guys. He's going to be here. We've got a bit of trouble with the cave here. So let's try and block that all up. Um, okay, so this guy is going to be here. So we've placed the trapdoor there just like that. And then we can make the double piston extender underneath there. Okay, guys. Oh, I've just realised. Oh, no. Oh, oh, we've just got away with that. We're going to have to do a bit of design down here just in case you can see it. He's gone up, hasn't he? 
Right, let's go. This, this is working. I actually, I forgot there was a villager underneath here. But there he is, our Feather Falling 4 villager. And this guy's definitely going to get the zombie fire. Put it in that way because um, I'm kind of, I like his trade, but I don't like the old, I want that to be cheaper. Um, and obviously trades after that will be cheaper. So, yeah, let's probably get this down here a bit of a makeover. And we should be good to go, but I'm very happy with this currently. Um, I think we do, we've got to obviously make this on the other side, but today we're not going to do that because obviously we need to make the slime farm to even be able to do that. Or actually find the slime. And also guys, sorry about my runny nose. Um, I've, 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 it's really, really hot in the UK right now. I mean, really, really hot. And I've got hay fever. I forgot to take a tablet this morning. My nose is running. And before... While trying to blow my nose and you know, get everything out of my nose, I actually cut my nose and it came flooding with blood. So I've got to be careful while you know doing my right nostril, uh, nostril, nostril. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, guys, um, what we're going to do now is actually probably design down here and obviously make sure all of this is working. So this one works fine, doesn't it? Yep. And if you put him back up. Yep, yeah, and we've obviously put the water things in and do the buttons outside. But such simple redstone. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, okay. I don't know what actually happened there. Okay, hoping that doesn't happen again. I don't. It, oh, it might have already been here, to be honest. I might have just. Yeah, I'm playing dumb. I'm playing dumb. Okay, um, I'll check in back with you guys. Okay guys, it's time for the grand reveal. Is this thing going to work? I've put in all the water. That guy has now gone. Um, and that has been dispensed. Awesome. Okay. Right, so that part, as you, as you can see, I've designed all down here now. So, that one is actually... You know that little thing I made, by the way? <laughs> oh, <laughs> not a very good example. There we go. And if we bring this guy back up, he comes back up. He can trip. I'm a genius. I'm an absolute genius. Okay. Please work for this guy. I heard a dispenser click. Come over here. Yes, guys. So, if save years. Yo, that needs to be down anyway. But save years, you know, wandering around here. He says, ooh, I need to go out. He's going to. Obviously, he's not going to go up there, but he's going to come straight out here. Bang. Hopefully, go to this guy. Blah, and then that guy's. Now ready to be zombified. That is absolutely awesome. Now, we've got to make a new sword. Probably like a sharpness. I mean, the question is, do zombies actually use the durability? Because if so, I'll put a bended, unbreaking, and sharp or something on it. But if not, there's not no point. Uh, we don't really need fire aspect. Um, we don't really need any, any of that. Um, but yeah, that should be working out good now. So if we actually come back up here... Um, let's do our little parkour thing here, and we click this button over here. It, do you know what I might actually do? Actually, nah, cause we'll not, I was going to say we could put a redstone lamp, your know, redstone lamp behind there. I might still do it to, you know, to see if, that, if they are actually are getting zombified. We're going to name all of these guys anyway, so hopefully they don't despawn well, the zombies, and um, because we've got AFK fishing now, so we can obviously do that. But, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this is actually going. This guy is still very expensive, but that is all going to change soon. So, guys, the plan now is probably to go and get a zombie that will pick up a good sword, but we need to make that good sword. And we have got no good um, diamond swords in there. But let me do a bit of research first on if zombies will actually use durability. Okay, guys, after doing a bit of research online, it doesn't look like they actually do durability, but I just had a thought, of, like, I was thinking, it's not going to cost that many levels, so we might as well just put, you know, the sharpness enchant and the, um, and the unbreaking enchant on it. Now, oh, we are so lucky we bought loads of sharpness books off the wandering idiots. So, let's come over here, 
Let's go Bing Bang Bosch. And then let's go in. Okay, we might need to buy one. Uh, this is our unbreaking guy here. Have we got any emeralds on us? Okay, we could do that. And then that works. <laughs> we'll take that. Um, that is a game five bucks. But this guy trades nice little emeralds. So we can trade with him. And here we go, guys. Let's get this unbreaking enchant. Let's call it the Villager Slayer. And there we go, guys. We've got the Villager Slayer nice and dandy here. Now it's time to go and get a zombie at night. I'll pick up a fresh weapon. And hopefully we can lure him into our little trap. Guys, you've just seen that. I just got this guy to actually pick it up. He's got a helmet on, which is good. Okay. I didn't think he was going to pick that up over that rotten flesh. But let's take this off so we don't damage him. Okay, this is going to be a risky one, but let's do it. Come here. Right, the reason this is going to be risky is because we've got to get him past the villagers. But this will give us a proper test if this thing is going to work. Um, we're going the wrong way here. Let's go here. Um, we've never actually released one of these zombies from the cages, except from where they got exploded. And I knew these zombies would come in handy one day. And then ones up there could possibly be for the iron farm, which we're making soon. Um, the reason we're making that soon is because... I need an iron soon. Um, we're running out so fast, it's unreal. Um, and I cannot be bothered going mining right now. But hopefully he just ignores this villager right here. Um, oh, please. Ignore him. He just hit hard. Okay. Yes. Okay, we got him in here. We got him in here. Okay. Um, how do we play this? How do we play this? He's got armor on. He should be protected. So let's do this. Everything down here is all lit up. I'm happy with down here. Um, everything's got water in and stuff. And yeah, this is where the villagers drop down. Let's go here. Let's get past him. Um, let's do that. Okay. No! The idiot! Oh, should I put my phones back on? Oh, why is he so low? Okay, let's go and try and give it to another one of them idiots. Right, the Andesite brothers. Will you pick it up? He does. Okay, I think they both will pick it up, to be honest. Okay, let's get that back there. Let's grab this. I want that Andesite block, actually. We'll keep it. Right, I'm definitely taking the fawns off. This is why fawns is a bad idea. It's great, but bad. Okay. This underside block is special because he was a part of the under the um the underside rolls. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Follow me, follow me, follow me. We need to eat. See, okay, follow me. Come around here. Come on, boss man. Okay, let's go through here. Yes. That vill Go down there. Okay. <laughs> he hits very, very hard for my liking. Oh, he's in there, he's in there, he's in there. Okay. Okay. Need to get rid of that. Let's do this. Let's get rid of Let's put that one flat. There's a torture now. That is all good. Let's get a, a bit of oak. Place it like there. Let's do the pattern. Let's get one of these here. Um, probably one of them there. Let's do all of this. And guys, I think we might be ready to actually. Um, I'm not sure. Um, let me eat because I'm going to die. That zombie noise is always going to get annoying. But I've just thought about it. We've got the silence thing on here, haven't we? And I don't know why I haven't done this for the other guys. But, I mean, we all, all obviously only just got the name tags. Okay, guys. So if we change this to silence me... And we take that, and then we need to go and give it to this guy over here. So, put that into there so we can grab that. Let's come here. Silence. There we go. Okay, that is very, very big brain. I forgot we had that. But, there we go, guys. So, basically, what should happen now? Should we just do... Right, actually, before we actually just yo YOLO it, we need to cover this up definitely for one. Okay, that's covered up. Then we need to come here, get one of them. We've got some golden apples. I'm just hoping this works, guys. Um, right, let's do this. Ready? We, we, I mean, this guy can't really get... It. No, we're not doing this guy. The guy, the zombie's over here, so let's try this guy. We want this guy, actually, fingered. Okay, I'm hoping the zombie gets attracted. Come on. Please show up. Come on. It might take him a while, because we did actually do a few experiments. Um, obviously, it weren't the quickest of things ever. 
Um, if we stand here, he might just get a bit attracted if he can, like, get a tiny glance of us. But I'll tell you what, I'll check it back in with you guys when he shows up. Guys, I think he's just done it. He has. He has. He killed him. He got there eventually. I was just about to make a window. I was thinking, though, I'm hoping these guys don't turn into drowns. Okay, that's worked. Now, let's get this. Let's do that. Bang. Bang. There we go, guys. Wow, this is working. This is actually working. Okay, I'm very happy with this, this episode, guys. I think we've done a quite a bit of smart redstone there. I can't wait to do it for these guys. This is going to be a problem. This enchantment table here. Yeah. Okay, we're probably going to have to you know, like make it a bit wider, the zombie um, killing mechanism behind there. Because uh, basically the problem with that is that um, you know, it, it has to come up here. We might get away with it. I doubt it, though. Um... One thing that is annoying me is these villagers making this, you know, hmm noise. I think what we're going to do is probably silence these guys, because these guys are bloody annoying. But I've got to stay near this guy until he heals up. And when he's healed up, I will come back with you guys. But I'm so happy this has worked. Like, I'm extremely happy. I need to be careful of this, Fawns. Extremely happy this has actually worked. That zombie is down there now. Um, I'm going I'm to make a window peek here. Okay, if I break this here, then place it that. We can always view this guy now. Um, obviously, we've... Quite a bit, you know, quite a bit of redstone here, but if we just, you know, obviously expose this off, this isn't going to be here forever. And if we did, we probably will make like a little viewing area for this guy, and um, you'll know, just on the fact we could actually, you know, see what he's up to and check that he's actually doing good, um, and killing the things instead of you know dying and stuff. So we'll keep probably keep this area here, and um, but make it look pretty and probably make a better. You know what? In fact, we probably put glass above him so we can like walk over him and stuff. And if we need to lure him in, probably put a few trapdoors. Um, but yeah, this guy is in here now. He is silenced, I think. Yeah, he is. I'm sorry. I thought that sound that that sound was in, but it's actually the zombie villager there. But, yeah, guys, I'm so happy with this. I'm sorry about all the hmm noises you might have heard this episode. Trust me, it's been getting annoying for me as well. You're not the only one. Um, but let's put a torch here. And, yeah, we've pretty much done a quite a bit of smart redstone here. Let's change that to a stone block. And, yeah, there's the guy in there. Chapters 5 and Breaking Free Sword. He was one he was, he was one of the Andesite bros, which is now going to... That Andesite will be in an item frame in our Hall of Fame. But I'm going to wait for this guy to heal up. And then, guys, we shall be back. There we go, guys. And he's got cheap trades now. Look at that. That is such a bit of smart little business from us there. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. But I think I'm going to have a little break now because we've been doing this for quite a while now. That design, honestly, I spent all of last night and it was the most simple design ever. I was still trying to do all of this crazy redstone stuff. And it turned out the most simple design is the design that worked. And... I'm guessing, oh no, that's going to be a problem. Okay, we, it just means we can't put the bed here. Um, because obviously we're not going to be able to sleep. So let's just move this bed to like over here. Say what, we could put it next to the AFK Fisher for now and we can sleep here. But yeah, we've. Uh, I spent like a lot of like a good hour and a half probably last night trying to figure this out. On a tired brain, which I was tired last night. And, you know, obviously it didn't, um, it didn't work out. But as soon as I come back, spend about half an hour on it. Yo, came up with a nice little design that worked, um, and now it's working all good, and we've got another uh, rip time bucket, and we've got this trade. We are absolutely piling up the emeralds here, and this is very, very useful. We'll give this guy a trade sooner or later, but we'll probably do this other section when we have um, made the slime farm. Guys, I can't be honest with you guys. These past few days, I've gone from being in not very inspired to carry on this series because the support's kind of be down to really inspired. I don't care, guys, about the support. You guys, you'll leave the support on the videos is much appreciated. If you like, subscribe, or even share and comment, it I literally it means the world to me. But. I'm not really bothered now. I'm really having fun at the moment. And we've got some great episodes coming up where we are going to be fighting the wither, which we are prepared for. We're going to be making a beacon, obviously getting all the emeralds to make the beacon, making a slime farm, using the slime, and then we'll obviously carry on progressing um, and then probably go into the end and stuff, getting shulker boxes and starting some proper projects. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy with how the um, how the world's going right now. That's all that matters. If I'm happy, guys, and you guys obviously watching the video and you're enjoying the series, 
Excuse me there, guys. But yeah, we'll probably um, work on this next time, the, you know, this little anvil thing here that drops down. And we'll probably, next episode, most likely be working on fighting the wither, actually. I think that is what the plan will be for next episode. Yeah, I think that will be the plan for next episode because uh, I kind of want to get this beacon so we can make this slime farm. The slime farm something I've been wanting to make for quite a while now. And it's because we need slime balls, quite simple. And we want to make a decent one in here. We don't want to make you um, a not very good one. Otherwise, we just we won't be having fun. That's uh, to get to speak. That's the most important part of the series is having fun. So let's make sure we're doing uh, obviously having fun. And we've got a few bookshelves here, so let's just you know make this a bit better. Um, I don't really know what else I can do here. I guess we'll get rid of that one. Um, I think that looks okay. It doesn't need to look like Oscar Wilde or anything. But, um, yeah, I think this is a decent little enchanted area. I did complete the roof. Um, I, you know, I mixed it up a bit to the AFK Fisher one. Similar design. It's where we'll keep some lapis and books that we need. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of happy with how this is going. I'm just going to do that because we're actually we're not making a profit there. But still getting loads of emeralds from it. So, you know, we'll take it. But, yeah. Okay guys, so what I've actually done, I've collected a bunch of wood here, look how much wood we've got, 18 stacks of oak logs in stacks, so that is very good, I'm going to go and grab this apple quickly, and boop, there we go, and we're going to head back now, and the reason we needed this is just because we needed wood to be honest with you, Um. so yeah, let's get in our boat, I've actually placed a torch, and let's get riding back to our base, which I've travelled quite far away because all the yolk near our base is actually um gone, so... Um, I've had to travel quite far, but hopefully we can find our base soon. And guys, I'm just thinking, I mean, where the hell are we? So, our base, I think, is minus 800, 800, if I'm not mistaken. So, I was actually going the wrong way there. But that is now going down, so... Is it... I think it's this way. The sun is setting. What a picture that is. Hang on, guys. Let's get a quick picture of myself here. Look at that. Look at that, eh? Right, we'll do... We'll take that. Uh, but yeah, let's try and head back to the base so we can start working on other stuff. Guys, is this something got a diamond sword? Is that a diamond sword? Oh no, it's iron, never mind. I thought that was diamond for a second. Wow. Guys, watch how good this is going to feel. Let's open our wood chest here. Are you ready? Bang, look at all of that. We are actually going to need some. And we also got some uh, bee nest. And if we... Oh, I've cleared the chat. What I'll do is post a screenshot on chat now. Uh, on chat, I mean on screen. Uh, we've actually got a bee nest that has... Indeed, three bees in it, so that is very good. So, we're going to put that in our um, chest full of bee, um, bee nests as well that we've collected. And we also got another drowned head, which is very, very good. So, yeah, we're doing pretty decent. We've got a bunch more saplings, which... Um, we're doing pretty decent saplings. I think we're going to go and place a bunch of oak above us, like, in a row, so we can actually mine them. But apart from that, we're doing pretty good. What we can do right now is our axe needs repairing a bit, so... Oh, we still can't trade with these guys. It's probably because we weren't loading the chunk, so... We'll sleep, and then we'll probably trade with these guys to get them, you know, the good trades. And then we should be, um, all good. Okay, guys, so, I'm just currently crafting a piston. And, by the you know, you could judge my inventory here. You might be able to figure out what I'm actually trying to go for here. And, guys, if you have uh, guessed correctly, yes, indeed, we've got a wandering trader up here. So, I've got hostile mob noises off because I've been dealing with villagers, as you can see by my inventory. And, um... I thought, I thought I'd you know, whip up to the surface just to see if there's any wandering traders, literally. Not even kidding you guys, out of nowhere, there he is. Uh, just thought I'd whip up because it's been quite a while since like I've been on the server trading, so I thought I'd whip up and have a look. And, oh, what do you know, there's a wandering trader right here. So, if I come to him here, he has quite a decent amount of trades. We should have just took up shulker boxes just to get one of them, but um, you're for the last one we did at last episode, but... We've got pistons, um, I'm going to get an aqua infinity book, because why not. I'm going to get a block of redstone, a, uh, you know, a coal ore block, um, another protection book, um, some more soul sand, and I think that is pretty much everything he's selling. There's nothing really much in here, we've got them. Um, yeah, so let's execute him and his traders. And there we go, we've got some more heads, and how many heads have we got for the other lambs? We've got one, which is not bad. 